congratulations on the win. Um, maybe not in the, the, the fashion you expected, but it's a win nonetheless. Uh, talk to me about just how you're feeling after that one. Um, I feel amazing. Um, it, it is kind of how I expected. I didn't expect it to get stopped with a cut, but the actual fight itself is how I expected it to go. I, I thought he would come after me and, and really want the fight um, and, and give me the fight I wanted. Um, and he did, fair play to him, but I, I, I knew I would be better than him at this kind of fight. Um, I'm, I'm one of a very few people that can beat the, the Pitbull brothers at their own game, which is biting down on the gum shield and going after each other. Um, so this is, this is what I wanted, and it's exactly how I, went to, how I thought it would go. And I know everyone's probably talking about the cut, but the, the minutes leading up to that, I mean, how did you feel like you were doing in there? Did you, did you feel like you were winning the fight? Yeah, of course I was winning. I, I thought I won the first round narrowly. It was quite competitive between the two of us. We were both landing some good shots. Um, but then I think that the takedown he landed on me in the first round actually served more benefit to me than it did for him. It looked quite bad for him. It looked like a desperate takedown. Like he, he was not enjoying the striking we were having, which is what I thought. And that's why I said to him, what's going on? I thought you were the king of KOs because he was shooting now all of a sudden. And then I was slapping him and things. So this, this all looked good for me. I thought I won that round and I for sure won the second round. That was pretty clear. Um, and I believe, I believe it would have been a good third round, but I think I would have beaten him or stopped him in the third round if it had gone there. After the doctor made his decision and the referee waved it off, it looked like you and Patricio kind of exchanged words through the cage. Uh, what was that conversation? Yeah, he was trying to claim it was an illegal elbow I, 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 that drew the cut, but this is nonsense. I think he was just angry that I'd beaten his brother, which is fine, but don't be lying. I understand it's your emotional and things, but there's something you can do if you're angry about it, and that's fight me. And that's what he should do now. If he, if he, if he, if he wants to back up and, and protect his name, he needs to fight me now, and he needs to settle this thing. It's one all. They beat my, my brother. He's like my brother, Pedro Cavallo. Fair play to him. Very tough guy, and he knocked him out, so I respect him for this. Um, but I beat his brother fair and square now. That's one all Pitbull Brothers, one all SPG. He needs, he needs to fight me now, and we need to settle this. Congratulations on the win. I thought you looked fantastic tonight. It was a, a real gritty fight. We, Patricky was back here earlier talking about it. He, he kind of took it in stride. He felt like the fight shouldn't have been stopped, but his idea was we didn't have a clear, concise way of ending this fight. So he wants a rematch, and he even said he'd be willing to go to Ireland to do it. So what are your thoughts on that, or do you feel like you've moved beyond this already? Yeah, I, I understand he wants a rematch, um, but I thought it was a quite, quite a concise, clear victory, to be honest. I, I bludgeoned him so much that it wasn't medically safe for him to continue. If there's not a clearer way of beating someone than this, I don't know what is. So what needs to happen now is his brother needs to take up the, the bat and fight me. And that's it. That's, that's the obvious thing to happen here. He, he's, got to win, he's got to finish that tournament. He's fighting AJ McKee. I think he'll win that. Then he, he can take a little break, and then he can come to Ireland and defend his belt against me. That's how we settle this. Of course, Conor McGregor had some things to say. He was very impressed with your performance. Uh, how does that make you feel just to have him on your side and you know, give, you, give you that extra shine that he's able to give to not only himself, but anybody else he talks about? Ah, it's amazing. But me, like, I expect, I expect nothing less from him. He's, he's, he's done a lot of great things for me over the years, Connor. Um, we go back a very long way. Um, and I know he's someone that will always support me. And no, no matter, things are going well for me now, but I know if things were going bad for me, he would support me even more. Um, so thank you, brother, if you're out there. Thank you so much. I'll see you when I get home. And of course, as popular as you may be right now, I think James Gallagher over here might be the most popular man at this arena right now. Yeah. What do you think of like everybody calling him out tonight? It was four call outs. In Joey called out at home, a slow night for James Gallagher. Not right, Jimmy. <laughs> Business is a bit slow tonight. Congra congratulations and uh you know what were your thoughts going in um you know as the doctor was looking at it did you think it was it was worth stopping um would you have liked to have that third round didn't make a difference to me i, I know this if i if i was in Patricky's shoes i wouldn't have wanted it to be stopped and i know he'd be capable of going out and continuing for sure and he's tough enough and and all the rest to do that so i understand he's frustrated but these things happen um it, it was a very bad cut um we have to put safety first and that's it and, and I know you've got one of your teammates here, but to do this uh, this week without John Kavanaugh, I mean, talk about the difficulties of that. Yeah, it's it's never good when your your head coach can't can't make it over with you. But listen, I had James here with me. He's like a little brother to me. He's one of my best friends. He's he's cornered me before. I won by stoppage as well the one time he did. So this is a good omen. I felt very good all week with him hanging around me. Um, listen, 
I could, I could have my mom my corner with me and I'm still going to fight just as hard. It doesn't make a difference to me, but it's always nice to have one of your best friends. I can hear his voice in the corner. I could hear him uh, laughing when I was slapping Patricky. In the, do you know what I mean? All these things. It was nice, the energy me and him have, that I, I could scream at him and he knew what I was, what, what I was going through at the end of the second round. Um, so we have great chemistry and I love having him in my corner. This was nothing to me, to be honest. All right, we'll take a couple more here. Donna? Peter, the, uh, the drinks were flowing here in Kerry, uh, watching that result. It was unbelievable. Um, does it suit you that he has to fight AJ McKee, this is Patricio Pitbull, and you now have some time for the Irish government to get rid of the restrictions and make it so that you can fight in a full arena in the three arena in Dublin when that does happen? Yeah, I think that's what we should do. I think he should fight AJ, get that out of the way. And then I think we should take as long as we need then to do a show maybe late in the the year in Dublin. Um, he can come over and defend his belt against me or maybe even early in, in 2022. Um, I wouldn't mind waiting for that. But that, I think that's the, the, the thing to do is to wait for the full, full, full crowd in the three arena. I, th I think he would well, like this as well. I think he would like this. When this fight was announced first, it was announced in March for an October date which meant that you were out for like so long. And I remember asking you before that fight, would you have liked to have got out at some point over the summer? Would you like to get out once more, maybe before uh, the Patricio fight? Or are you willing to, to take some time now and really dedicate yourself for, for you know, five months, six months to, to preparing to fight the lightweight champion? No, I want to wait for him. That's the fight. That's the only fight that makes sense now. To, to do any other fight for both of us is just silly. It's absolutely silly. So we just need to wait for this fight. We don't have to wait long. He's got that fight coming up soon. If it's not Dublin, it's not Dublin, wherever we do it. But we need to do that one next. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Keelan? Hi, Peter. It's Keelan McNamara here from MMA Island. Congratulations on the win, brother. Thanks so much. No worries. Another Irishman from Gallagher's County this time. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks. Listen, I wanted to talk to you about your game plan coming into this fight, if I may. As we yeah. know, uh, the Pitbull brothers are very aggressive fighters. They come out with a very... Sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, just as I was saying there, as we know, the Pitbull brothers come out with a very explosive, aggressive approach in their fights. We've seen Patricio and Patricky do that in many of their fights. Was it your objective to come out and make this a war of attrition in order to neutralize that explosiveness? Because it seemed that you were able to do that to great effect in the first two rounds. Was that your mindset and SBG's mindset coming into this fight? Yeah, it was my mindset. Um, people make the mistake when they fight the Pipper, they make the mistake when they fight the Pipper brothers of being afraid of them. And this is understandable because they've got, you know, incredible power. Um, but when you're afraid of someone like this, who's, who's as good as they are and carries as much power as this, this is exactly what they want is you backing up and, and, and giving them the time to tee off with these big shots. So it was my plan to kind of smother him and, and, and always be in his face and bring the fight to him, which is what I felt I did. Um, and I went, I went exactly as I thought it went. I thought it'd be a very, very tough fight for both of us, which it was. I'm pretty banged up as well, to be honest. He, he did, he landed some good shots and, and did great work himself. But I knew if it got into that war of attrition type fight, it's hard to beat me in this kind of a fight. It's very hard to beat me when you, when you, when you do that kind of a fight against me. All right. Thanks for the time, Peter. Congrats on the win.